Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't spoken to you in such a long time. I I know I filmed an Everlane video last week, um, but I feel like when I film my fashion videos, I'm kind of a bit more in sort of professional mode, sort of. So I feel like I'm not properly talking to you. I'm kind of like trying to be a bit more like, yeah, a bit more fashion-y. Um, but yeah, I haven't caught up with you guys in such a long time. I... I was, I was all sort of set to be back on like work mode at the beginning of last week and then I just felt so unmotivated like I think I was I was due on at the beginning of last week so I was really tired anyway you know when you just feel really like you've got zero energy which isn't the best way to start off a new year um but I'm feeling a bit more kind of like on track now this week it is Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? No, it's Wednesday today. See, I'm really not on track, am I? I don't even know which blooming day of the week it is. Um, but I thought I'd make myself a little coffee and we could have a catch-up. A coffee and a catch-up. Don't you miss, like, meeting friends for a coffee and a catch-up? But yeah, I thought we could do that. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all really well. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Um, we had a really nice one, really kind of, well, I mean, quite chilled, very quiet, um, obviously different to previous years, but still, still lovely. Um, and yeah, it's not been the best start to 2021 so far, has it? I th who would have thought it, you know, like at the beginning of last year, in March, well, not the beginning, but in March, when the first lockdown came around, and it was all a bit of like, oh, like, this is all new. Like, we, we're all thinking we've probably got a month tops in lockdown and then we'll be back to normal again. Fast forward nearly a year and we're back in lockdown. It just seems like crazy. Um, but I hope you're all doing all right. I hope you're all staying safe and like kind of keeping healthy and keeping as positive as we can. I also didn't film a what I got for Christmas video this year. I was planning on doing one. And then, yeah, like I said, the kind of between Christmas and New Year whizzed by and then the beginning of this, year has whisked by um but i thought i will show you like i'll show you a few things that i got for christmas in this video i thought i'd kind of like still got a few bits out and about so i'll i'll um yeah i'll go around and show you a few of the bits i got for christmas and i just yeah i just thought i'd do like a chatty chilled home vlog today to get myself back into the swing of things i want to do more home vlogs like i love filming like chilled vlogs at home i love kind of making it a bit more casual like when I do a fashion video, I set up my camera and I kind of like get everything organized and I'm sort of like, hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm kind of in the zone. Whereas when I film something like this, I feel like I'm a bit more chilled and I kind of just ramble or um, look, I've got an ASOS delivery coming today at some point and I'll probably unbox that as well. But I feel like it's a bit more of a natural kind of like still ASOS haul-ish. So you get your fashion content, but um yeah just a bit more chill so let me know if you kind of if that sounds good like a little bit of a mix of hopefully i mean at the beginning of last year i'm pretty sure i said that i was going to vlog every week and i definitely didn't so maybe i won't say every week but mate i'll try i'll try and vlog once a week if not once a fortnight and i just want to be a bit more kind of like on top of things um another thing that i said i was going to do that i haven't um, I don't know if you've been if you've been around for the past few months and you will have seen that Lou and I bought a house to renovate and rent out. Um, I haven't shown it to you yet because we basically ended up doing it up. Well, Lou ended up um, renovating it really quickly. I think it took him like four or five weeks to get the whole thing done. And then one of his mates moved in for three weeks. It's like a fa favor. He, he was kind of in between houses and he asked Lou if he could move in. So he moved in, which is why I hadn't shown you it because I didn't get a chance. Um, but he's out now and so it's empty again. So I will show you. I actually filmed it before, so I'll show you how it looks. Um, so you can see kind of like the before and after. I'll do that in another video within, within the week. Oh, that's a lovely cup of coffee. Oh, I got a new mug for Christmas, actually. This was from Lou's mum. It's from The White Company, and it's just the cutest little bone china mug with a little heart on it. Very me. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh. I got this for Christmas. I just saw that it's been on the sofa since I finished it last week. Um, yeah, got a book for Christmas, and that's another thing that I'm going to start doing this year. Not Nothing to do with this, my channel, but... I want to read at least one book a month, which is completely doable, seeing as I read this in about 
two days. Um, but yeah, my mum got me this for Christmas. It's called The Family Upstairs by Lu Lisa Jewell. Um, I loved it. I really enjoyed reading it. No, I wouldn't say I loved it. I really liked it. I didn't love it. Um, I enjoyed reading it. I enjoyed just reading again. Like, I forgot how much I loved reading a good book. But... I thought the story, I'm not going to give anything away, but I thought the story was a little bit, a bit far-fetched, kind of, like the parents annoyed me. If you've read it, then let me know if you agree, but I thought the parents annoyed me that they let it happen, and I just thought it was a little bit unrealistic and a little bit like, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I would still recommend reading it, like I'm going to give this to my mum, and she's going to read it now, um, once, like, once I've given it to her. Um, so I'd still recommend it, but I just didn't love it. So if you've got any good book recommendations, um, let me know because, like I said, I want to read at least one book a month and just, just that switch off time when you're kind of curled up on a sofa with like a cup of hot chocolate and a good book. It's like one of life's lovely little pleasures. Um, so yeah, there's, that's like a, like a silly little New Year's resolution. I haven't got any kind of set New Year's resolutions apart from just to look after myself um try and like look after my health and um just switch off more often i guess show you a couple of PR packages that arrived yesterday. I have already opened one of them, um, but I haven't opened this one yet, so I thought I'd open this one with you. But this one was from Dermalogica, and it is for the launch of a new product they brought out, which is the NeckFit Contour Serum. And I've already seen people demoing this on Instagram, but it's basically like a serum, and then it's got, I haven't actually tried it yet, but it's got like a roll a ball inside so you kind of like squeeze a little bit out and then roll it up your neck to kind of lift and tighten and improve the skin on your neck so i thought that was a really cool like little yeah i thought it was a really cool little product so i'm excited to try that out but for the launch of that this evening i have got like a zoom event with dermalogica um so they've also sent a yoga mat because it's like a yoga like a live yoga session um, so they sent me a really cool like Dermalogica yoga mat and I'm really impressed with it because it's super thick and padded. I do want to get back into yoga this year. I was going to do, um, like there's a YouTube channel, I'm, I'm sure some of you have heard of it, it's like Yoga with Adrian, um, or Adrienne, and I was going to try and do that every single day, <laughs> but so far I haven't done a single day. I did two in December to try and like get myself into the swing of things and then January came and I haven't done a single day of yoga. Um, so this will be a good start and then um, hopefully I'll get back into it. But they also sent me a couple of my favourite products as well, the Sound Sleep Cocoon Night Light Gel Cream which is lovely and the other one is Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50 which is also really lovely and a little bag. Um, so that arrived from Damlogica. And then I also got a package from ASOS. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be the same as what happened last time. <laughs> um, oh, okay, so it's like a little gym bag. I thought it might be something like fitness relate related. I feel like everyone's kind of like promoting fitness in January for obvious reasons. Um, Hopefully it's not another yoga mat. <laughs> oh, it's like a little bag of so we've got a skipping rope. I almost ordered this the other day from ASOS because I was thinking it's so good for you, like fitness-wise, to skip, isn't it? So that I will definitely use. Um, this looks like a little gym set. Oh, I like that. Okay, so it's a little like lilac ribbed crop top and then matching leggings. Oh, I like that set a lot. That's really nice. Um, and it's nice kind of like super stretchy ribbed fabric as well. Maybe I'll wear this set for my yoga session this evening. Pop that on. Um, what have we got here? 
Oh, wireless earbuds. Oh, do you know what? I've been really meaning to get some Apple ones, like Apple kind of wireless um, earpods. And I just haven't got round to it. So these are like a skinny dip pair. Got some ASOS sports socks. Um, this is like the 4505, which kind of looks like ASOS, but it's their sort of sports fitness brand. Um, a water bottle. A little water carton. I'm not sure how practical that will be. Um. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I like that. That's really cute. It's like a little black zip-up sports jacket. That's really cute. That's definitely a bit of me. I love this kind of style of zip-up top, especially when you're running outside, which again, haven't done for a while. But um, yeah, that's really cute. Just very simple. And it's in a really stretchy, seam-free fabric as well. And then there are some little exfoliating acid pads from a brand called Yes2. I think I've used a couple of things from that brand before, but not not much um and then here there's a cooling moisturizer from yes to as well asos have got the biggest range of like faith and beauty products like literally all 90 percent of the makeup products i use i can get from there like nars mac charlotte tilbury essie lauder like so like my foundation my concealer everything is available from asos which is blooming brilliant um and then Skin Proud, again, another company that I haven't heard of, but there's an everything balm, like a multi-use balm, and a clay mask as well. Um, and then, last but not least, and this will come in useful, and it is a foam roller. And if you've never used one of these before, they are so good to use after a workout when like your muscles are really aching. You kind of put it on the floor and like roll against it. Uh, well, that's what I do anyway. <laughs> I really wanted to try and shoot some content today. I've got loads of outfits that I need to photograph for my Instagram, but it is so grey and grisly, and I've literally just looked at the weather for the next four days, and it's just grey every day. Grey and raining, which makes it so much harder because, like, I don't know if you ever noticed, but on my Instagram, when there's, like, natural sunlight coming in, it makes the pictures look so much more... I don't know, just so much nicer. So it's really annoying that it's grey today. I'm gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Um, but I thought I'd kind of show you some of the bits I got for Christmas, but um, a lot of the bits, well, quite a few I've put away because obviously Christmas was a while ago now and I wasn't really planning on filming this video. So I'm gonna kind of go round each room to where I've got the things. Not all of them have been put away, but a few have. So I, I'm gonna quickly show you some bits. So first of all, I thought I'd start in the kitchen. So this is like our little alcohol cupboard and I got this bottle of gin from Lou's sister. It is the rhubarb and ginger gin from Whitley Neal. This is gorgeous. I haven't opened this one yet but I've had it before at Lou's parents house. Um, they've got a bottle of it and it's so so lovely. Um, my mum actually got me that one a little while ago and I've had this one for a while. They're both really nice but this is definitely my favourite. Um, so yeah, that was from Lou's sister. Oh, she also got us this photo frame as well. This was the picture we took when we got engaged, um, literally a few seconds after we just got engaged and I just think it's really cute. We look so happy. Um, and she got me that in this gorgeous kind of like beaded photo frame. So I've just put this up here on the shelf for now. I don't know if I'll keep it up there. I might pop it in our bedroom. Um, but yeah, that was from Ellie as well. And then she also got me this gorgeous candle from the White Company. It is in the scent Seychelles and it smells beautiful. It's got all these little shells in the candle. I've never seen this one before. Um, and I just think it looks so lovely. So that is going to go in the bathroom. It smells beautiful. And she also got me this gorgeous little notebook, just a white kind of leather um, and rose gold notebook that I'm gonna pop on my desk. So she went mad. She ended up getting both Lou and I lots of stuff. But I think because our birthday, we were in lockdown for our birthday, so we didn't do gifts at our birthday. She ended up getting us some really lovely bits. 
for Christmas. Oh, I also got these socks from Lou's auntie. These are from the White Company and they are cashmere. They feel beautiful. I think they're, yeah, they're 100% cashmere bed socks. So I guess they're supposed to be worn in bed, um, but they just feel really, really super soft and a nice little luxurious present. These photo frames are from Lou's other sister. She got me a set of four and I'm gonna put them in the bedroom. I'm gonna put two either side of the bed. Um, and I just love the fact they've got this big white board and then just a small photo frame and they can go either way. Um, so yeah, she got me a set of four of those. And then she also got me this Spa Restore fragrance oil. This is also from The White Company and it smells gorgeous. And this is to go in my neon diffuser. Um, but you can use this in any diffuser, it smells lovely. I've also got this apron from Lou's sister as well. Both Lou and I mentioned that we would like an apron because neither of us have got one. And obviously they're very handy for when you're cooking. Um, and so Sean very kindly got me this one. It's from H&M Home. Um, I will try and leave like some of these things, if I can find them online, I'll try and leave them linked below. Um, but I just really like the style of it. Very simple and I'm gonna hook it on the back of the um, utility room door so it can kind of be there easily for when I need to use it. Oh, and I've just spotted this as well. Lou's sister Ellie also gave me this to go with the candle. So the candle obviously sits on top of that. Um, but yet yeah, a really lovely, simple little white tray from the White Company. Little vase was from my sister. She ordered it from Amazon and she said she thought it was going to be like about 10 times the size of what it was. She said in the picture, she just presumed it was going to be like a really big vase, um, but obviously it's a little tiny one, but I still think it's really cute. I love the style of it. Um, and it will look really nice with some little like, little dried flowers in it. I also got a diffuser from the White Company as well. This was from my mum, it's in the scent Fireside. And it's a really gorgeous, like kind of smoky, smoked woods and vanilla. Really, really lovely. I got a couple of coffee table books. This was the first one, it's called Monochrome Home. I haven't actually had a chance to flick through it yet, but I saw it on Amazon and I just thought it looked gorgeous. And I just loved, I mean, the style of some of these interiors. It's just absolutely stunning. Look at that. Um, and this was from my mum. I had mentioned that I wanted some coffee table books too my family, so my mum got me this one. Um, and I just love the idea of kind of having it on the coffee table and sort of flicking through, getting a little bit of inspiration. Um, yeah, really gorgeous, really lovely pictures in there. So that one's called Monochrome Home. I'll leave that link below if I can find it on Amazon. And then I also got this coffee table book. This was from my sister and I've actually got it in the bedroom on the bedside table because I took a picture in here the other day for my um, Instagram home account and I just thought it looked really nice in here with this little jewellery pot on there and a candle. This candle by the way, I didn't get, this wasn't a Christmas present but this is from Free People and it smells divine. It's literally, every time I walk in this room, I can smell the candle before it's even been lit. Um, and then this is the lip balm that I'm loving at the moment from By Terry. It is the Balm de Rose and I've got it next to my bed so I can put it on in the morning and at night. Um, so yeah, that coffee table book, oh, back to the coffee table book that I actually came in to show you. Let me just move the bits off it so I can flick through this as well. Um, this is a similar sort of style as the other one, but just, Again, such beautiful imagery in here, gorgeous interiors. Oh look, they look quite similar to the lights in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, just so lovely to get inspiration for the home. It's so nice to kind of flick through and think, um, you know, even with things like lights or stalls or just little, little pictures that you can kind of flick through and think, love that, going to try that, or kind of place settings and, oh, it's just all so beautiful. Love home interiors and just love this style of book. Um, even things like this, kind of this image makes you think, oh, I really want that kind of um, glass and is it called a carafe? Carafe? I also got a new bottle of my absolute favorite perfume. You guys probably know what this is, um, but it is the Jo Malone Myrrh and Tonka and it just smells beautiful and I was running low on this. So very happy to have a new bottle of that. I'm in the bathroom now if it sounds a little bit echoey in here. Um, but I also got two of these bath tables. These were from Louis' mum and they're little marble bath tables and I love them, like they're perfect because this bath's kind of like curved. 
There's nowhere to put a drink if you're having a glass of wine in the bath. So we've got two of these, one either side of the bath, and I just love the way they look in here. I just looked in the mirror for the first time in like, not all day, but for the past few hours. Um, and I realized I had mascara all over my eyelids and I've just been chatting away to you with very mascaraed eyelids. I think it's gone now, but yeah, I just, I, I've mentioned before, whenever I do my mascara, I always get up my eyelids and usually I get a cotton bud and wipe it away, but obviously I completely forgot this morning. So I can only apologize if you noticed that. Um, but I have had a couple of packages arrive from ASOS so far, not like everything. Basically, I've, I could tell that they're both, one's a pair of trainers and one's a pair of boots. Um, so I was gonna wait for the other box to arrive, but I thought I might just get into, I might just open these up now and show you what I ordered. You guys know that I am an ASOS ambassador. I work with them um, like each month to create some, to create content. Um, but I, yeah, I'll show, you, I'll show you what I got. So like I said, I've had two boxes arrive. I'm pretty sure that these are some boots that I ordered that were in the sale that are hopefully a really good, really, really good sale, sale find. Um, and in here, I think these are some trainers that I ordered. So I will crack into both of them and see. Yes, so I ordered some more black trainers. If you saw my video that was like my top purchases of 2020, you will have seen I spoke about my black Nike trainers. They're the, the Zoom ones and I absolutely love them. I wear them so, so much. I've literally worn them almost every day this year. But they've got like the tiniest little hole at the front where I guess where my toenails like rubbed against the top of them. It's just come through slightly. Um, so I thought it was time to get a new pair of black trainers. I will still wear the other ones, but they've kind of been like delegated to muddy trainers. Like, yeah, anyway, saw these at, um, on ASOS and they had, I think they had 20% off and I thought I would try them out and they just look, yeah, like a nice simple black trainer. They look really comfortable. They've got a nice sort of squishy sole. Um, and I just wanted to go for something a little bit different to the ones that I already got, I already have, even though I love the ones I already have, I just thought I would try something a bit different. So I like the style of those, they look comfy, they're nice kind of, yeah, nice simple style. Hopefully they fit because I went for a UK four and a half and that is my usual size. And then this is the exciting package. So I spotted these on ASOS ages ago now. I saw them on there and I thought they were beautiful. Um, it's a pair of black boots and I love them. And I think they were about 250 pounds. Um, and then I noticed they got reduced to 180, which I thought great, but still quite a lot. Anyway, I'd, I'd had them in like my heart, so like my little heart bit for ages. And then the other day when I was on there, I saw they'd been reduced to like 120 pounds, I think they were. And I thought, you guys need to know about these. <laughs> that was my excuse. You need to know about these. Um, so I needed to order them. So. A little dust bag. I don't think I've ever bought a pair of boots from Reese before. Um, but I just thought these looked so beautiful. Oh, they are gorgeous. They are a pair of black leather knee-high boots and they are beautiful they are like literally the perfect heel height the perfect shape if i just get this bit of cardboard out so you can see um the leather feels gorgeous and i haven't got any like nice black leather knee-high boots like this and i'm kind of always reaching for something like similar to this and i tend to go for like my over the knee boots like my black suede over the knee boots or um, obviously I've got the black crop ones, which I love, but these are a bit more of a classic style for when you want something a bit more simple. Um, and I just thought they were such a good buy. Hopefully they fit, they look, they look small, but you can never, never tell. But the, I, I went for a size UK four because I thought, I'm like I'm a four and a half, but maybe I should have gone for a five. Um, but yeah, they are really, really lovely. Um, so I will leave the link below. Hopefully they are still available at the moment. Um, 
I don't think they'll stick around for long so I'll leave them in the description box and then if you did want to treat yourself to a bargain sale purchase then I feel like this is the one like they are lovely they're so nice I will try them on and style them up I'll either do it in this video or in my next video on an Instagram post oh and the other thing I meant to mention as well so in my last video obviously I bought my car and I was like oh I'll show you in my next video fast forward a month I still haven't shown you my car sorry I feel like an absolute like really annoying person doing it that way but I think it just like obviously I did that video then Christmas came and then New Year came and I just yeah I just didn't really vlog so I will I will show you I need to get it clean because I haven't had it clean since I got it and car, black cars get dirty so quickly yeah it's black <laughs> um, they get dirty so quickly so I want to go for a car wash and then I will show it to you um, but yeah I love it absolutely love it compared to driving my Fiat it is an absolute dream just gliding around in it absolutely wonderful um, but yeah, I just wanted to explain that that is why I haven't shown it to you. Not because I didn't want to be like teasing you like, oh, I'll show you in my next video and then not doing it. And quite a few have messaged me as well saying about when am I going to, um, when am I going to show it? So I will, I will either do it in this video or my next one, I promise. Um, I mean, it's not really that exciting, but I will show you. Um, but yeah, love these. I'm going to, um, oh, gorgeous absolutely beautiful pair of boots in fact let me quickly slip my foot into them and see if they fit please fit please fit please fit please oh sorry lou's ringing me two seconds hello yeah good you yeah no worries i'll see you soon yeah, I know, it's going a bit grisly, isn't it? I don't mind either. Yeah, I'll be ready. No, you, no, no worries. Love you too, bye. So it's just Lou ringing me. He's been, he's been back at work and he's working today. Um, and he, we said we're going to go for a walk when he got in but it's just started raining. So he said, oh, he's gonna be back in 10 minutes. Am I still up for walking in the rain? I said I was. You guys know that I've got my Everlane coat that is an absolute godsend and keeps me so warm and toasty. Um, so I don't mind walking in the rain. Um, but anyway, I was gonna slip these on quickly, wasn't I? Right. Please excuse the fact that I have got black Nike leggings on. <laughs> they definitely don't go with my outfit at the moment, but have I got the right foot? Is that the right foot? Oh. Oh, I can't get into them. Oh. Okay, maybe they're just hard to get on, but once they're on, we'll be all right. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, okay. Do you know what? It's really weird. They're hard to get on. Like, I feel like there should be some sort of zip bit to help you get into them. But actually, once they're on, they're really, like, they're plenty big enough. Do you know what? That makes me think maybe that's why they're reduced, because they are hard to get on. Um, but once they're on, they feel... <laughs> look at me. Um, once they're on, they feel really, like... Let me just... Yeah, like, if they feel true to size. So I am a UK four and a half, and I'd say that these... Um, yeah, they're true to size. I can definitely get away with a four. I'm glad I didn't go for a five. Um, so I would say if you're a half size, let me just, just double checking, just wiggling my toes around to make sure. Yeah, if you're a half size, go for a size down. But yeah, they're really lovely. I cannot wait to style them up. I feel like these with like a nice long white shirt dress and a black blazer, perfect. They're gonna look lovely. I'm definitely gonna be styling these up um yeah i like them a lot i will now try and oh also i like the fact that you can slouch them down as well so you can kind of like because the leather's so soft and slouchy and kind of have them slouched down like that um or you can have them up and a bit more baggy around the knee they're very they're really nice